Hey there, simplifiers. It's winter, it's frigid, and if you're like me, you're looking around your house and wondering, where did all of this crap come from? Today, I'd like to give you three easy winter decluttering projects for you and your family so that when spring does come along, there's less stuff and more fun in your future. Winter can be cold and you can be stuck inside a lot and looking around your house and thinking of projects to do, but at the same time, you really just want to curl up under some blankets and take a nap or snuggle down and, you know, binge watch some Netflix. So today, I want to give you some easy decluttering tasks that won't take as long as cleaning out an attic or a basement, but they will set you up for success when it does start to get warm outside and you'd much rather be playing at the park than going through your closets. First up, let's go ahead and evaluate those spring and summer clothes that you haven't been wearing for the last couple of months. And I know if your legs are anything like mine and haven't seen the sun for about four or five months, the last thing you want to do is throw on some cute skirts or shorts. But now is a really great time to go through those closets because it's the time when consignment shops will be buying clothes for spring and summer because some people will want to stop in there and spruce up their wardrobe before they go on spring break and other people just want to get a jump on what they're going to wear this spring and summer. It's also a really great time to clean it out because you're not really wearing those things right now and you can make a better evaluation of what you did wear last summer or spring and what you really don't want to or what might not fit, what might be too big or too small. This is also a really great exercise with your kids because more so than adults, kids will really change sizes from summer to summer. So if your kid was in fours last year but is clearly in a five this year, now is a really great time to go ahead and gather up all those fours and either bin them up for a younger child or take them over to a consignment shop or a donation site and get them out of your house. Next up, let's tackle your paperwork. So tax season is upon us and there may be some stuff that you've had hanging around that you were going to use for your taxes or you weren't sure about using for your taxes. So the first thing you want to do with any tax related paperwork is to consult your accountant or whoever is doing your taxes and make sure that there isn't anything that you would need. Most of the time, once you receive your tax paperwork from your employer and from any investments that you have and so on and so forth, you won't need your statements and your payroll stubs and things like that anymore. So if you've been saving those throughout the year, you can go ahead and get rid of them if your accountant says it's okay. And that can clear up a lot of paperwork in your files if you still have paper files around your house. Another thing that you might want to take a look at is receipts. You want to keep things around that would be any tax related expenses so that they can go along with any tax prep materials that you have. But anything other than a large purchase, you would need that receipt for a warranty. You can probably go ahead and get rid of at this point unless you're planning to make a return. Receipts can take up a lot of space in our filing system and a lot of times we don't even need them once we've actually made the purchase. Another type of paperwork I recommend getting a jump start on is all your kids school papers that have come home. A lot of families that I work with just take those papers and shove them in a drawer or a file or they're even just still piling up in the backpack. Winter is a really great time to go through and see are there notices for events that have already passed that you still have hanging around or are there homework sheets or reports or art projects that your kid really isn't interested in keeping, you're not interested in keeping and now would be a really great time to go ahead and pare those things down so that at the end of the school you're only looking at potentially half of the year's paperwork as opposed to that full year that is piled up in that cupboard or folder or bag. And finally, winter is a really great time to delve into any of the outgrown or unused items in your house. So I'm talking about things like toys that aren't age appropriate anymore or whatever's hiding in the back of your Lazy Susan in the kitchen or the top of your coat closet where you've stuffed some bags and you're not even really sure what's up there anymore. You don't have to tackle all of these things on the same day, but winter's a really great time to clear out one of those spaces and really evaluate the things that you're keeping up there. The great thing about this project is it's not like doing a complete overhaul of a kitchen or a closet it, it's just that one area, that one shelf or that one cupboard that you may not get in very often and you know there's stuff hanging around in there that you don't really need or you don't really use. And now is a really great time to do that. Tasks like these will only take a short amount of time, but the benefit will be 
really great because you've gained extra space, you've gotten a beat on what you have in your house, and you've pared down to what you really only need. So I gotta know, have I inspired you to tackle some of your decluttering projects this winter? Comment below and let me know what you plan on decluttering, or even better, tell me what you have done this winter. And don't forget to subscribe, because every week I will bring you organizing and simplifying ideas for your home and family. Take care, happy organizing, and I'll see you next time on Organizing with Simple Solutions.